Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the two most important investments you can make. I'm gonna give you guys my experience with these two investments. And I hope it will help you make a decision before the end of this year to implement strategies to have both of these two investments as part of your wealth building strategy. The first investment we're gonna talk about is real estate. I have 25 years of experience investing in real estate and I wanna share that with you guys. Now my real estate journey, it actually started with a single family home. I purchased that single family home actually to live in, but with the mentality that I would put a tenant in it after two years. The way I got into that home was through FHA, First Time Home Buyers Program. That program allowed me to only put down three and a half percent down payment. And the bank would finance the rest of the amount to purchase the house. Because at the time, you know, 26 years old, I didn't have very much money. And that was a really nice way through that program to get in a piece of real estate that I could start building my real estate portfolio with. So I got in that house. I lived in it for two years. The goal was to move out of that house in two years, pull the equity from that house to put a down payment on a second house. Now I would live in that second house and then I would put a tenant in that first house. And that's the plan I executed. And I did that strategy three times. And at the end of the third time using that strategy, I was on my fourth property. So I went from having no money to saving up about three and a half percent for my first home. And then I used that first home as a springboard to acquire four homes eight years later. So every two years, I bought a new property. And that's how, guys, I started building my real estate portfolio. All from a three and a half percent down payment. And in those days, the three and a half percent in dollars represented about three grand, something like that. Plus my closing costs, which are another two grand. So probably all together about five grand. I was into that first house and it springboarded me eight years later to owning four properties from a basically three to five thousand dollar investment. The point is. There are alternatives out there for you guys to to, to get into real estate if you don't have a lot of money to get started. Number one, FHA first time home buyers. You can buy a single family up to a four unit small apartment complex and qualify for that three and a half percent down. All you have to do is live in one unit for 12 months. There you go. You can actually go from no real estate to owning four units by using that FHA first time home buyers program. So don't make any excuses, guys. Real estate is probably the number one investment tool people have used to create wealth in the last hundred years. Well, let's move on to number two, which is stock market investing. 80% of my stock market investing portfolio consists of index funds and ETFs. About 20% consists of individual stocks. 
Now, the only way I invest in individual stocks is I have to understand the industry. I'm not gonna invest in things I don't understand, right? Plus, I also understand as an individual stock picker, I'm not gonna perform better than an ETF or an index fund. Statistics tell me that and it's true. So I don't wanna have 80% of my money going into a, a stock portfolio that I'm picking myself. Why? Because when times get tough, I'm more likely to want to sell because of emotions. You know, I get scared, I get fear, and then I wanna sell. So I don't wanna be the expert and be picking stocks on my own because I, well, you know, more times than not, I'm not gonna outperform ETFs or index funds. So 80% are in ETFs and index funds. How did I get started? Well, I started at 30 years old, taking a little bit of money and investing that money into ETFs and index funds. And over the last 20 years, it's turned into a lot of money just because I decided to be consistent and not be the expert. Because I get a lot of comments from you guys. Hey, man, what stocks should I be investing in? And I always tell them the same thing. Guys, I'm not a stock picker. I don't invest in a lot of money in individual stocks. I invest in passive investments like ETFs and index funds. Why? Because the performance is better and I don't have to be the expert, right? And so that's the advice I give you. You know, think about what I said earlier, that 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your money should be going in ETFs and index funds. 20%, if you just gotta do individual stocks, take 20% of your money and, and, and you try to be the expert and see which one over a long period of time has a better performance. I would probably go with the ETFs and the index funds. Over a 10 year period, I just don't believe myself or most of us will not be able to outperform on a 10 year time frame an ETF or index fund out there picking individual stocks ourselves. We just, statistics are against us on that one, guys. Now you're more than welcome to try it, but I, I don't think it'll be that successful. If you don't have a brokerage account set up, set one up and start buying ETFs and or index funds. But you gotta think about it for the long term. You gotta think about it for 10 to 20 years. In order for the compounding effect you're gonna get from the stock market to really mean anything, right? So open the brokerage account. You gotta consistently put money into that brokerage account. I don't care how much it is. It could be $100 a month, it could be $100,000 a month. Whatever it is, whatever your budget will allow, you have to commit to doing that because if you don't commit to the long-term process of investing in the stock market, your money's not gonna grow. That's my opinion. Again, I'm no expert, but I'm telling you I've done this for 20 years exactly the way I'm telling you to do it. So take that for what it's worth, right? But those are the two things, guys, I've done consistently for the last 20 to 25 years to put me in a position where I'm able to enjoy the things that I want to enjoy out of life. I don't have to worry about working. I don't worry, have to worry about where I'm gonna get my next dollar from. It's just an amazing way to finish off the rest of my life, to be able to be financially secure. And that's a good feeling, man. And again, it's not about having Lamborghinis or jets or mega mansions or any of that stuff. It ain't about that. It's about 
whatever's important to you. Being able to walk in a beautiful community, beautiful sunshine, not having to worry about financial problems or financial concerns is, to me, worth its weight in gold, right? It's priceless. But had I not done the things that I've done over the last 20 to 25 years to get here, I may not be in this position, right? So we got to do some sacrifice. We got to delay some gratification. And we, we have to put some sound investment principles in place. And we got to follow them, right? It, it's not get rich quick. It's a process that will make you wealthy and give you the lifestyle you want if you have some patience, some discipline, and some consistency. Drop me some comments, guys. Let me know what you think about the video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video. Smash that like button for me. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Peace. Guys, be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least $100 in that brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out the brokerage app. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Go click on that Weeble link, open up your new account, go get that free stock, go get that free money. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.